what's going on family in Jesus name uh, really didn't feel like making a video today you know but at the same time you know the best time to make a video is when you don't feel like it you know in these YouTube streets and uh, you gotta stay consistent but at the same time, of course, make sure your quality is good. My quality is going to keep getting better, you know. But you got to keep posting, hashtag keep posting. You know, I'm going to make at least at least one video a day, you know. But probably like 10 videos a day. All together, you know, with the live streams, the shorts and all that, you know. I don't know about 10, but... But yeah, either way, man, um, it looks like this is going to be my video of the day, or one of my videos of the day, so I appreciate you guys watching, man. So, as you guys can see, I replied back to this uh, co-partner already, you know, you know, but pretty much, man, you know. Don't let vampires drain your blood. Don't let energy vampires, you know, drain your energy, man. But put it into your YouTube success, you know what I'm saying? So uh, in this video, man, I'm just going to let it be known, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, you know, any disagreeable opinions on my channel are acceptable. I won't block or remove the comment. But uh, any disrespect, you know, um, may be removed or blocked in Jesus' name. And that's just how it goes around here. Hallelujah. So... <clears throat> Yeah, man, pretty much, um, you know, if you co-partners, you know, keep on, uh, you know, leaving comments or whatever, man, I'm just going to start responding with a video, you know, make content. Uh, thank you for watching. You're helping me get my watch hours up so I can have a good, a good YouTube career. So, you know, it's just crazy, bro. Like, I still have yet to come out with my full testimony, you know what I mean? And I'm literally just waiting on Wiley to repent so I don't have to come out with my full testimony. Because my full testimony would destroy his kingdom, you know what I mean? Especially if it goes viral, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's crazy, man, because a true child of God wouldn't be scared of being exposed, but while he is scared of being exposed, you know, and that's why he brainwashes his partners. He preaches to them to defend him within his uh, sermons or whatever it's just a lot of brainwashing and stuff you know I once was loyal to the quote I once was deceived as well I once also defended you know um, and came against you know those who left the cult while I was still in the cult you know what I mean but shout out to Kappa for Christ you know, shout out to everybody else, man, who got out of the cult, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to keep this video somewhat short, man. We're not really going to go too much into depth in this video, man. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. But this is just a response video <clears throat> or, you know, documentation as well, man, within a, a video, you know, um, to uh, this co-partner 
by the name of Unworthy Servant 714. So, um, you know, he comes with a verse. There's nothing wrong with a verse. Of course, the Bible is good. Hallelujah. You know, but totally out of context, you know, you know, and this is what um, cult partners, you know, because you got to understand, man, like, if you're under somebody like Wally, Wally's a false prophet, deceiver, manipulator, you've learned pretty much everything and you pretty much become, you know, Wally-like when you're supposed to become Christ-like. You know, we're supposed to be Christ-like, man. But, you know, a lot of these cult partners, they become Wally-like, you know what I'm saying? And uh, they uh, pretty much project, you know, um, their own flaws and faults on the others and stuff like that. And, you know, uh, you watch my my videos, you know, I have my own land and everything. And, I mean, it's just crazy, you know what I mean? But I already know. You know what I mean? I already know, like, how these co-partners are going to come. You know what I mean? If a man of God is filled with the Holy Ghost, you better be careful what you say to them and about them. The pers the persecution of Christ is persecuting his children. Repent in Jesus' name. As you can see, uh, this comment was left on my rebuke and godly warning to a uh, Wally, cult leader of R.O.J.C. for trying to put a curse on me. You know what I mean? And then after this video, guys, I also have another video, a 20-minute uh, video of me, you know, explaining and testifying how Wally's curse, you know, tried to come to pass, but it didn't happen. A weapon was formed, but it did not happen. I came very, very close to T-boning um, this massive truck, you know, and it would have totally totaled my car, you know what I mean? And it could have been fatal for myself, you know what I mean? So, um, like I, like I explained in that video, those with spiritual eyes can see, man, but while he tried to put a curse on me to get in a car accident or for me to die in my car or something like that, right? Um, so the weapon was formed, but I also broke the curse. And this video right here, before the almost near fatal car, car collision. So in this video, I broke the curse. So when the weapon was formed, it did not prosper. Hallelujah. So guys, you know, I also got to work on uploading that uh, dash cam footage to prove. Um, so I just been having my dash cam unplugged. You know what I mean? Because I, I don't think I got a lot of memory and I wanted to rewrite over the footage. You know what I'm saying, guys? But I got to get that uploaded, um, the dash cam footage. But I'm probably going to have to pretty much edit it, you know, a lot and everything. Um, just to block out any uh, of the area. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, man. But... But yeah, man, you know, that's another thing I got to do. I got a lot of stuff on my plate. I got a lot of things I got to get done, you know. But, you know, when you're in this cult, bro, um, a person will fall under, under the deception, the manipulation, the brainwashing. You know, also I, I, uh, idolatry, you know, even though they don't realize they're in idolatry. They really are, man. You know, it's about defending Christ, not about defending Wally. And so in my reply to this comment, you really idolize Wally and everything like this, man. So when it comes to the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is good. Hallelujah. We know what the Bible says about the Holy Ghost. Asking you sh and you shall receive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, and I also, you know, 
see what the cult leader, cult leaders and the cult partners, they try to do is they try to um, get you in a spot where to have you say something so that they could accuse you of blaspheming the Holy Ghost, God forbid, you know what I'm saying? But you know what's crazy, guys? I've, I actually um, have a recording that I recorded on a Thursday night call, call where um, I got to review it, but it seemed like Wally came pretty close to uh, blaspheming the Holy Ghost as well. Um, because when he's, and I could, I could tell how he kind of hesitated because he already know he don't want to blaspheme the Holy Ghost. But when he was talking about people like me who left the cult, you know, and he was basically trying to say, you know, I mean, that they don't have the Holy Ghost, you know what I mean? And so I got that recording, so uh, I could upload that too. You know what I mean? How? But I just don't got time to be doing all this, man. I got to be out here door dashing and making money and all that. You know what I mean? But, you know, like I said, man, if these people want to keep on, you know, these cult partners want to keep on coming on my channel and, you know what I mean, and stuff like that, then I'm going to come with the fire. Hallelujah. The fire of God. That's Hebrews 12, 29. Hallelujah. So, so like I said, man, I have a recording where Wally possibly has came very close, if not blaspheming the Holy Ghost, bro, by uh, saying, by talking about people who left the cult and pretty much saying that they don't have the spirit or something to that degree. You know what I mean? But like I said, I'll have to review the audio and stuff like that and uh you know as the cult partners want to keep on coming on my channel and that's all that's okay all are work all all are welcome hallelujah in jesus name but you guys could come here man but i'm hoping that you know the blindfold will be taken off your eyes man and you'll no longer be deceived and you'll wake up. Cause like I said, I was once very loyal, loyal to the cult too. And I would defend it. You know what I mean? I would defend it to, to the end. You know what I mean? Like, so I completely understand your guys' position. You know what I mean? And you want to use scripture and stuff? Anyway, I could use scripture. You know, even say you can use scripture. That don't mean you're a child of God. That don't mean you're not deceived. That don't mean you're not in a cult, you know. So, um, so yeah, guys, let's go over what I replied. Um, I said, you repent for following false prophets. I'm going to have to make a video soon showing you how Wally is a false prophet since you don't know already and you are deceived by his manipulation. <clears throat> so... Yeah, guys, it's a lot of things, you know, to prove, to review, you know, maybe to go over a lot of Wally's uh, dinner table messages. Notice how after the whole uh, plunger in the arm, man, he's only re-uploading old videos, deceiving people when they're thinking it's new videos, uh, 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 when it comes to the dinner table messages type videos. You know what I mean? Um... So that's deception right right there, you know. So like I said, it's a lot to go over. I could go over, you know, his, his messages, the sermons, the dinner table messages themselves, you know. But the number one way, um, as far as I'm concerned, you know what I'm saying, uh, that you know Wally's a false prophet. He's wrong about the mark of the beast, man. He said the plunger in the arm was the mark of the beast. See, the mark of the beast, man, is going to be connected to a uh, digital currency. You know what I mean? The Bible says no man will be able to buy or sell. So uh, years later, years later, years later, after 
they took the what Wally called the mark, the plunger in the arm. They still buying and selling years later, years later, years later. So um, that plunger in the arm is not the mark. Uh, Wally's too prideful to admit it. He won't admit it. He won't come out and repent on anything that he's wrong. I mean, that's just how I'm seeing it, you know, but I'm hoping I'm wrong about that. I'm hoping that he will come and actually repent, you know, humble himself and stuff like that. But, you know, since his uh, cult really idolizes him, you know, if he comes out admitting any faults, any wrongs, and really repenting and humble himself truly to, to Christ, hallelujah, and uh, just repenting and, you know, um, when you're wrong, man, a real man would admit, you know what I mean, and apologize, man, to the person who he brought false accusations against and stuff like that, man. So, you know what I mean? With that said, man, you know, it is what it is, man, because he falsely accused a lot of people, including myself, and that's why, you know, I was able to wake up, you know, when I saw him projecting himself onto me and I'm like, hold up, wait. And then I'm questioning like certain things, you know, and I, and I, and I realize he's projecting his, his pride, his false accusations, his deception, his manipulation onto me and trying to falsely accuse me of these things. And the list goes on and on, but I'll save that for my full testimony, Lord willing, you know, but, uh, yeah, man, he's a proven false prophet. So, you know, uh, as far as the Holy Ghost is concerned, hallelujah, I know the scripture, and I know I got to be careful when it comes to, to talking about the Holy Ghost. You know what I mean? But these, these cult people, they know that scripture too, and what they try to do is try to get you to uh, blaspheme. They try to manipulate you into... Uh, blaspheming the Holy Ghost and that's very uh, evil you know what I'm saying that's very evil uh, a person who you know tries to manipulate another person just because they left their cult you know into uh, blaspheming the Holy Ghost is pretty much equal to them blaspheming the Holy Ghost themselves that's crazy, guys. You know what I'm saying? So just notice, man, whenever the cult uh, partners come against you or whatever, they'll always try to use the Holy Ghost. You know what I mean? But God knows the intent in their hearts. So if you're not a reprobate yet, if uh, you haven't blasphemed the Holy Ghost yet, you better repent. You better repent. In Jesus' name.